Well, hello. Another day and another video. It is now day 52. Uh, today, once everything actually loads, today we're going to do something a little different. Um, I'm going to set out. I'm headed west. And I'm just going to keep going. Um, I mentioned before, I'm looking for something that's a little rare, at least in this seed. It seems to be, uh, and I don't mean clay because clay is just exceedingly rare as of 1.66 in general, uh, because not somehow fucked it up, and now it only spawns whenever your uh, X and Z coordinates are matching numbers. So it only resp it only spawns in two diagonal directions across the map. So, yeah, I'm not even going to bother trying to find clay, because that would just be ridiculous. You know, I know what grass is, but what is that? Like, seriously. It doesn't make any sense, so. Anyways, I'm fully geared. Uh, I've got quite a bit of, uh... Deep holes. Uh, quite a bit of armor, and uh, I got some food on me. And I've got a full assortment of tools and I'm gonna go out and try to what I'm looking for is a snow biome because I want some snow um, I have something planned uh, snow itself has no purpose it's just an aesthetic like anything any other block you know one block is as good as another as far as it usually goes but uh, I want snow and uh, I don't have any around me, so I'm going to look for some. Uh, today's video may be a little bu uh, buggy, laggy, because while I'm recording and traveling at the same time, it tends to like sort of eat the frame rate. Since I'm going to brand new locations I've never been to before, and since the game, I mean, Minecraft is like insane memory heavy to begin with. And uh, with that in mind, it already, you know, eats up quite a bit of RAM. So when I try to record and travel and explore at the same time, it's just the computer's going, huh? So it's an interesting sh shaped object. The land formations there. It's kind of fun once in a while just to go off exploring. The only uh, downside is the more you explore, um, like if you're gonna go exploring in Minecraft, go ahead, run around and explore. But whenever you're like done exploring, shut down the game and then reopen it, like shut down completely, because you rack up an enormous amount of RAM uh, cost while you're exploring. And then by shutting down and reloading, it just the game seems to function more coherently instead of just being a uh, a mass of horribly misplaced data. <laughs> so hopefully we'll see some neat some neat sights. Looks pretty cool. Kind of wish I'd spawn near that thing. That'd have been an interesting thing to build around. Um. I've, uh, I know I encountered snow somewhere in my travels around the map, and I don't know exactly where it's at. I could open up one of the many third-party tools that uh, read the map, and I'll take that one tree out here all by itself. It's kind of cool. And uh, try to find it, but it's not nearly as much fun really just running around. Uh, I wish there was a use for cactus besides being, you know, defense worthy or whatever. Like I said before, you can use it as a, um, a shield to, like, you can't place cacti directly next to each other, but you can, like, stagger them. Watch this. I love these. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty intense. Suddenly wish I had brought a boat. 
Uh, hmm. Alright. Didn't bring any wood. Guess I will just, um, swim. Or sink. I can sink. Sinking is good. <laughs> uh, I like to do exploring. Um, it's one of the, uh, the lost arts in games, I think. Like, it used to be real common, especially in RPGs, but just in games in general, to have little bonuses, little Easter eggs for exploring, things you can find. And they still get stuck into some games now and then, but well, it's kind of deep down here. Um, it's just not as prevalent as it used to be in video games, and I kind of miss that. Like, where you can only find the coolest stuff by looking around and going the distance and searching every little nook and cranny of things and mind you Minecraft doesn't exactly have a uh, an incentive to search beyond looking for specific supplies you need <laughs> other than that you're better off just digging in your general location where you spawn because everything is pretty well distributed with the exception of clay currently and snow it seems because I can't find any freaking snow but uh you know RPGs have done it for years, those little hidden secrets, the cliche, uh, you know, cave behind the waterfall kind of things. Ooh, pumpkins. So, you know, I just, I think that's an important thing. It's, it's important to give players a reason to enjoy the environment in whatever game they're in. I mean, think of how many games you've played where you weren't rewarded exploring at all. It was just, you ran around, you, you know, maybe there were like little drops you could collect, but you weren't like, you go find, everyone's found that spot in a game where it's like, oh, this little nook would have been cool to have something, but there's nothing here. So, yeah. Nope. Sorry, I had to cut for a second there. My, uh, uh, game just froze and quit on me. <laughs> Thankfully it was, uh, it saves a lot better than it used to. It used to be when you crashed and you were playing Minecraft, you would just like respawn and any blocks you had altered wouldn't be there anymore. It was a good way to like spawn and find yourself like buried in the ground. And uh, that was always unfortunate. Ooh, the sun's starting to go down. Don't worry, I'm prepared for that too. I brought along supplies. There's um, several methods of survival when you're out running around. Um, I'm going to cover a couple different ones uh, during the course of this run, just so people have an idea of you know what to do when you're out and about, and you go somewhere and you suddenly find yourself in the dark, and you're like, well, what now? There, there, there are always solutions. You just got to uh, plan ahead a little. And even if you have to like improvise on the spot, you can still survive. There's always an option. I mean, dying in Minecraft shouldn't really ever happen. So, I'm going to build me a small little fortification here. A little 2x2 two two room. Just enough space. To, uh, survive the night. Little lights. And there we go, we're set. I'm now safe from the evils that wish to destroy my fragile Minecraft body. And, uh, we need an escape hatch. Alright, there we go. Um, I like to create a secondary exit from wherever I'm actually, like, standing. The importance of this is mobs will congregate around wherever you're at when they spawn. Especially when you're in a tiny little home like this. I've noticed a direct correlation between the size of your home and the amount of mobs that can spawn around it. Like, the closer you are to a wall, the faster, um, I've cut here, I've, uh, was talking to you, didn't probably even notice, 
see it's daytime now. But, you know, there's a small difference between a speedy escape and I'm being attacked by something. So it's not always perfect. It wasn't a very far away hole, but, uh, well, whatever was attacking me, it's gone now. Oh, there it is. Well, I'm not going back for you, Mr. Spider. I got walking to do. But yeah. Just, you know, it's a simple thing like that. Just a tiny little home. It's a place to stop and rest. And, uh, that water's lower than sea level. Cool. You don't find that too often. Ooh, more pumpkins. I wish these had a purpose. Uh, you can combine a pumpkin with a torch and it turns it into a jack-o'-lantern, which makes a relatively interesting light source. Um, there's a lot of really great texture packs that'll like make like a paper lantern out of a pumpkin instead. So when you light it up, it becomes a paper lantern. Or it, I mean, the model would still be a paper lantern even without it, but because the only part that lights up is the face lights up. But the whole thing emits light, so so it works as like an art, you know, an extra block to use for that sort of thing. If you want to, you know, a little decorative touch to your lighting. And plus, it can be flush in a wall, so that's kind of handy. Um, you can also wear one as a helmet. Uh, it has no armor value at all, so I'm assuming it doesn't break either. But uh. One of those kind of funky things to do, just to see your character run around with a pumpkin on his head. You can play Pumpkin King and disappoint Linus. Uh, thumbs up if you get that reference. Um, <laughs> I don't mean to hit the like button. I don't give a shit if you like my videos. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm not one of those people. I just think it's kind of cool if you can catch that. It's an odd shape bunch of land. What water under sea level. Hmm. Come on, snow. Anytime now. You can cover quite a bit of distance in uh, a single day in Minecraft. Um, I don't know what your speed is in game, like how fast he walks, but I know each block is a meter, so I'm assuming you can cover probably about, let's say, a thousand meters, a thousand blocks in a day, give or take, probably like a full kilometer. In a That's what I would think. Um, any more seems unlikely. Um, if I don't find snow on this voyage, I will head out east during the next video, and I'll take my boat, which should. Uh, the boat actually moves faster than you do, so it's a little more advantageous, at least. Let me phrase that. The boat moves faster through water than you do. I don't know if it's actually faster, period. I think it is, but, you know, I can't say for certain without checking it out. Since the Minecraft forums have been down all friggin' day, and the wiki is tied to the same company that runs the forums, I can't check. I'm going to check any kind of stats lately. It's annoying. It's one of those reasons you shouldn't ever put all your e all your eggs in one basket. If one company has control over everything, that one company goes down and suddenly you lose it all. I mean, Minecraft.net still works because that's run directly by Mojang, but Mojang, Mojang, whatever they're fucking called. But, uh, yeah. I like to explore. Uh, this is, you know, it doesn't have the same reward factor as finding little fun items, but it does, you know, there's a lot of interesting landscapes that can be discovered. That's the real payoff for exploring in this game. It's just, you know, new land. Just to see what the world generation algorithm has pulled up. So deep and dark. And we must be really heavy. I guess all the stuff in our pack just sinks straight to the bottom. Guy doesn't even struggle for it. He just drops like a rock. 
I want to, uh, I've been working on trying to build a, uh, a, a, a game of my own for years, and I recently took up, um, an RPG Maker title called RPG Maker VX, and it's this, you know, the stupid man's version of creating a 2D RPG, basically. It's got a lot of extra preset tools versus the last PC version that came out. And uh, hopefully I can actually get ahead and get something done. So, I'm trying to build off a preset idea I'd had on an old RPG. Hey, a mushroom an old uh, scenario that I'd wanted to play out uh, story-wise, so it was something I started years and years ago back for the old PlayStation 1 RPG Maker, so with any luck, I'll, I'm just trying to do slow progress. I'm not setting any goals or setting any time limits. I'm just trying to go around. I totally lost track of which way I was going. Um, and I'm just going to go and see what I can get done. Uh, with any luck, you know, I've completed one map so far. And uh, I'll start working on others and laying down the event work and some of the story. With any luck, I'll be able to get some progress done. Uh, and it'll hold my interest long enough for me to continue getting progress done. That's the real part, is, is, is getting progress continually done. Like, I can start anything, but finishing something, that's, that's often pretty hard for me, just because I get bored. Um, it's not that I can't finish, it's just, I get bored. I'll admit it, I'm, I've got way too much of an ADD problem, and I'm like, eh, I'll move on to something else. And some of my boredom arises from my perfectionist problem, like, I want everything to be perfect, and it won't be perfect, and... The idea of fixing it or adapting it to the system, just floating islands, uh, kind of irks me sometimes. And that'll, I'll get distracted and look into other things. I'm like, eh, I don't want to do this anymore. So I'm trying to try to avoid that this time around, hopefully. Uh, I've gone a really long ways, and I've still not seen any snow at all. This is absolutely ridiculous. I've got the other type of grass, but I don't have any snow. Uncool. Today's music is by the Steiner Dominique. And it is hell if I know. Some sort of weird uh, type of tune that I'm not even familiar with, but uh, I thought it was kind of interesting sounding, so I picked it. Uh, it's a little repetitive now, listening to it, but uh, it's still not awful, and it, it serves its purpose, so I was not too distracting, <laughs> and you get bored. Um, Looks like I'm not going to find any snow. Nice shadow error there. It's great. Something's spawning, or spawning, loading the screen's background. So, I'm going to camp out here. Um, this is my preferred method of surviving at night. Uh, I'm going to camp out the night, and then I'm just going to head back. But uh, I'm going to end the video here uh, with an unsuccessful run. It's like the time I went looking for lava in the cave and only found two. Of course, then I at least found something. But this method is great right here. You know, you're out of sight uh, for and out of range for arrows for the mob. So you hardly ever get swarmed at all if you do this, especially if you go high enough. So, yeah. Just go high enough, build up, wait out the night, take it back down in the morning, kill anything that's around you if something does spawn too close. And uh, it works out pretty well. How laggy it is. Goddamn fraps. Anyway, uh, that'll be it for this video. I will see you next time. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it, and goodbye.